Well, if you want to delete your account from the iPhone, you may mean a couple of different things, but do not be afraid because I'll cover everything in this video. It's going to be separated into different sections depending on your actual problem. So check out the sections to see what you need. Anyways, let's just get started with this tutorial right now. Okay, so let's say you want to delete your iPhone's Apple account because you want to sell the device or you want to give it to someone, whatever. But the point is that you would like to remove your Apple ID account. You'll do it this way. You go to the settings of your specific device and there at the top of the page, you can see UI Cloud section. There's like your profile picture and you need to tap on it to get inside it. Then you'll be able to see through your Apple's account settings, see what's going on, tweak some things and stuff like this. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, you'll be able to see the big red button saying sign out. If you click on it, you'll be able to remove and basically delete your Apple account, but only from this specific device. You may be required to type in your Apple ID password and even some other security metrics, but you'll be able to pull it off. After this, you'll then be able to log in with a different Apple ID if that's something you desire. If you plan on selling this device, it's always a good idea to reset and erase the iPhone completely, so this won't be enough. If you want to erase it, go to the general section and then scroll down to the reset section. Anyways, like I said, this doesn't really delete your Apple account entirely. Even though it's not present on the iPhone, it still exists. If you want to delete it completely from Apple's servers, then you'll have to do this instead you'll need to head over to your Safari or any other web browser. It's better to do it on a computer, but you can do it from your phone as well. So go to this page. It's the privacy.apple.com slash account. There you should find the delete your account section. You will also be required to choose a specific reason on why you want to do so. Apple goes manually through each request. So chances are that the whole deletion process will take a couple of days actually. After you go through all of this, your account will then be permanently deleted from Apple's database. Now, a quick word on what happens when you actually do this because it's kind of important. Deleting an Apple ID account can have significant consequences as it involves losing access to a number of services and saved content. Firstly, you'll lose access to Apple services and App Store. Any content purchased using your Apple ID, such as music, movies, or apps, will no longer be accessible. Secondly, all of your photos, videos, and documents stored in iCloud will be permanently deleted. So it's important to back up all of your data before deleting your Apple ID so you don't end up losing all your files. Thirdly, you'll no longer receive iMessages, FaceTime calls, or iCloud mail. These services are tied to your Apple ID, so removing your account will result in the loss of these services. Then you lose access to iCloud, the App Store, Apple Pay, Find My, and any apps or services associated with your Apple ID. This means that you won't be able to use any of these services unless you create a new Apple ID. Finally, the email address associated with your Apple ID account will be unavailable for use with a new or existing Apple ID. So if you want to use that email address with a different Apple ID, you'll need to change it before deleting your account. Okay, so that was the deleting your Apple ID account completely. Well, if you wish to remove some other accounts from your iPhone, I'll try to show you the solutions to the most likely problems. Your problem could be that you want to delete your account from your mail application. This is pretty common, in fact. The Blue Mail app you can use to add email address, well, if you want to change it or remove it, it's not as easily done. For this, you need to go to the Settings app, scroll down until you find the Mail section, tap on it to get inside it. There are a bunch of different things and settings, but go ahead and click on the one saying accounts. Inside there, you can see all the accounts that you've added here previously. If you wish to remove any of them or even all of them, then tap on one of the accounts and there you can again see the red button that instructs you to delete the account. This again will not like totally remove it from existence. It's just that it'll make it disappear just from your phone and just from the blue mail app. So it doesn't really affect the account itself. Uh, so this is pretty much the end of today's video. I really hope you found it useful. If you liked it and you'd want to see more videos like this one in the future, make sure you are subscribed to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You can click on the subscribe button right here on this page, or you can also check out the next video that I think you'll find really useful. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace.